Electronics industry is one of the largest and fastest growing industries in the world. The global electronics industry is estimated at US dollars 2.9 trillion in 2020. The global value of electronics industry is almost equal to the economy size of India, which currently stands at USD 2.9 trillion. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, in collaboration with ICEA, has released a five-year roadmap and vision document for the electronics sector titled 300 Billion Sustainable Electronics Manufacturing and Exports by 2026. This is the second volume of a two-part vision document, the first of which titled Increasing India's Electronics Exports and Share in GVCs was released last year in November. The report comes at a time when India is already seeing positive indicators in exports of electronic goods. India's exports of electronic goods touched USD 1.67 billion last month. The nation registered a whooping growth of 49% in April to December 2021 by clocking USD 11 billion provisional over USD 7.4 billion during the same period in the year 2020. The Volume 2 gives a year-wise breakup and production projection for multiple products to boost India's transformation into a US dollar 300 billion electronic manufacturing powerhouse from the current US 75 billion. The key products that are expected to lead India's growth in electronic manufacturing are mobile phones, IT hardware, consumer industrial and auto electronics, electronic components, LED lighting, strategic electronic, PCBA wearables and wearables, telecom equipment and many more. The government has changed gears since 2019 with national policy for electronics. NPE was launched with a vision to position India as a global hub for electronic system design and manufacturing by creating an enabling environment for the industry to compete globally among others. The approach and the entire strategy of the government to develop electronic manufacturing industry has undergone a change in 2022. The change can be perceived from PMP, import substitution, to the production link incentive approach aimed at transforming India into a global hub for mobile and electronic manufacturing. In his address to the heads of India mission on August 6, 2021, Prime Minister Narendra Modi made a clarion call to focus on export-led policies from India to increase the country's share in global value chains. Currently, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry is undertaking a major restructuring exercise to support India's outlook towards exports and free trade agreements or FTAs. The trade policy is exploring half a dozen new bilateral FTAs with UAE, UK, Australia, Canada and EU in 2022. It has also launched a revitalized India-US trade policy forum in November 2021. By importing components and assembling them in China for the world, China created jobs at an unprecedented scale. Similarly, by integrating assemble in India for the world, into Make in India, the nation can raise its export market share to about 3.5% by 2025 and 6% by 2030. In the process, India would create about 4 crore well-paid jobs by 2025 and about 8 crore by 2030. Beyond the vision of import substitution to Make in India for the world, the roadmap in second phase focuses upon new markets, new customers, and making India a major player in global value chain or GVC. There is a real opportunity in electronic sector driven by two factors, that is growth of digital consumption and growth and diversification of global value chains. The government has committed nearly US dollar 16 billion over the next six years across four PLI schemes, semiconductor and design, smartphones, IT hardware and components. To put India on the path to US dollar 300 billion in electronic manufacturing, the research calls for a competitive tariff structure on electronic components and the removal of all regulatory ambiguity. It recommends 
a winner takes all strategy backed by economies of scale and global competitiveness new and revised incentive schemes for some sectors and the need to address issues of sustainability and ease of doing business thank you for watching stay tuned with pbns for more updates